What's up everyone, Abbas here from Golden Motor. Today we're putting this beauty right here on this beast and I'm gonna show you a complete step-by-step -step guide how to put a front hub motor. Let the fun begin. Okay, so today I'm gonna be putting on this build a Magic Pi 5, which is our 1000 watt motor. It peaks at about 1500 watts of power, but you have an option of getting a 250 watt, a 350 watt, or a 500 watt motor. And this, all the motors come with the necessary nuts and bolts you need. And they all come with an option of a twist throttle or a thumb throttle. So you can choose whichever you prefer. It comes with a set of brake levers. So these will go into your regular brakes. And then it also has an E-electric uh, cutoff that cuts off your motor when you brake. It comes with a wiring harness, which plugs into your wheel. And the beauty about our kits is that our controllers are all internal, uh, which means that you're not gonna be putting an external controller. So it's a much cleaner build. And then this is the wiring harness that goes from the motor to your front uh, side of your bike, where the brake levers go, the throttle. And then another thing that comes with the kit is a two button switch, which is a cruise control and you have an option for a horn. So let's get down to the build now. Okay, so the first step is if you have rim brakes, you have to just unhinge this wire right here. It's very easy, just press it down and then take this out. And by the way, our kits work with both rim brakes and disc brakes, so not to worry if you have disc brakes. And then I got this unhinged, now I can take the tire off. Let me take the, let me turn the bike over now. Okay, time to take the tire off. I got my socket wrench right here. You can use a drill if you want, but I just like the sound of the wrenching, the socket wrench on camera. All right, so I went ahead and took the tire off the original rim, and then I put it on the mortared rim right here. A uh, couple of things to uh, note, the wired side of the uh, motor goes on your non-drive side or the left side of the bike. So again, that's a very important step, otherwise your bike's gonna go in reverse. So it goes on the uh, non-drive side or the left side of the bike. And make sure the the rotation of the tire is correct so it treads on perfectly. And now on to the most important part of the build and is to mount the tire on the front fork. So let's do that right now. Okay, time now to mount the wheel on the front fork. This wheel should fit on any standard 100 millimeter dropout. So make sure before you get this kit you have a 100 millimeter dropout. And then it should fit on there. There you go. Nice and flush. There you go. Okay, so I changed the camera angle to show you guys the positioning of the washers. So this washer, the two millimeter washer, it goes inside the dropout on both sides. So it's gonna be inside, and this prevents your wheel from wiggling when you're riding it. So it's nice and tight in there. So the two millimeter is inside the uh, fork over there. So the second washer, set of washers that comes is two tabbed washers. You can see a tab coming out. And this goes right here where the tab is on top of the opening on the dropout. So that's an extra safety mechanism, so make sure it's on the top. And then the last thing you get with the kit is the nuts, and make sure you tighten it very, very strong, because you don't want this to be coming out on you when you're riding. So after you tighten both the nuts on both the axles very tight, technically you are done. Your wheel should be good. As long as there's no wiggling, you're, you are good to go, but you got this nice and tight on the axle. So technically you're done, but these regular bicycle forks are not meant to handle that kind of torque. So what most people do with the um, hub kits is you put a torque arm. So basically what a torque arm is, let me show you. What it does is it goes onto the axle of your bike. And then this torque arm comes with the screw that you attach this, the arm part of it. So it goes against the fork like that. And then the torque arm kit comes with a couple of hose clamps. I just put like heat shrink on there. The heat shrink actually comes with the kit so that it doesn't scratch your fork. 
So it's a nice little trick right here. And then you put it through those two holes right there and you t uh, tighten it really strong against the fork of the bike. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. Again, uh, it is highly recommended that you put at least one. Um, on front, you can put two just to be super safe. I'm gonna be putting two because I intend to be doing a lot of stuff um, on this tandem trike that are not supposed to be done on a tandem trike. So I'm gonna be putting two on there. So I'm just gonna do that right now. Okay, so this is how it looks like after the torque arm is installed. I tighten the nuts, nut over here too, and I put a torque arm on the other side, same, same thing, tighten the nut. This thing is going nowhere. So I just put on a tester battery with a throttle. I'm gonna give a little throttle just to check it out. Okay, time now to take the old brake levers off and replace it with the E brake levers. So you just unscrew this right here. And this will loosen the brake wire. So then you can just, and then just take it off from here. So the brake lever wire is loose. And then just use a Allen key to loosen the brake lever. And let's do the same thing on this next side then. Okay, so after you've taken off the brake levers, now it's time to put the throttle and the two button switch. So throttle, you can put on your um, right side or left side, depending on your preference. I'm gonna put it on my left side. I like it on my left side. And then it's up to you if you wanna put the two button switch, which is the horn and the cruise control, it's an option. I'm gonna put it on right here on the right side, right next to my shifter. And then goes on the brake levers. So make sure you put the left on the left and the right on the right side, very important. And then once these are on, you can tighten your brake levers with a, a five millimeter Allen key. And then with the, the two button switch and the throttle, you can tighten and the, the screws right here, the bolts right here with a two and a half millimeter. So I'm gonna do that and then I'm gonna change my camera angle. I'll show you from here how to hook up the the brake uh, cables to the new brake levers. Okay, it's time now to put the brake cable inside the new brake lever. So I tightened the throttle. Um, this kit comes with a pair of grips. Uh, I don't have, I didn't have any grips on it, so I just used the one that came with the kits. I put that on, so I'll tighten it up. So now just put the cable in there. So the same way you took it out, so the way you do it is loosen this, put the cable in there, and then Make sure this lines up. There we go. And then you tighten it accordingly. So you just gotta adjust your brakes and make sure the brake, and then we'll plug it into the wiring harness so to make sure the, the e-brake is also working. Okay, so now on to the wiring of the kit. So out of your motor, there's three wires coming. One is for the battery, the red and white. I'm thinking of routing it right here and then putting the battery right here. Uh, second plug that is coming out of your motor is your 10 pin plug, male, which will go into the wiring harness. And the third one is for the, is a five pin male. It's gonna go into the Bluetooth or USB. If you decide to program your controller, this is where you're gonna be putting it in. So let me connect my wiring harness, the 10 pin. And this wiring harness comes with the kit uh, and then it splits into four. Uh, two go into the brake levers, one goes into the throttle, and then one goes into the, um, the two button switch. So I'm gonna plug those in right now. Okay, so now on to the last step of your build, which is mounting the battery. So usually this is where, I mean, you can put it over here or you can put a rack battery at the bottom. I'm just gonna put it here on the front. Uh, usually there's like two screws right here for the, um, the water bottle. But unfortunately this bike doesn't have one, but if you had it, you would just you know take those screws out and put it in and boom, and the battery goes on, very simple. But for this, we'll need a double bob, and I'll put a link to this product in the description below. So basically what it does is you hose clamp over here and over here to the frame, and then you use the screws that came with the kit and you they go into the cradle, and then the battery slides on. So I'm gonna hose clamp this right now, 
And then the, the two, four hose clamps that came with them, they came like uh, two different sizes. Uh, they like, it'll fit on 99% of your frames, but this frame, this, this right here is very thick. So I had to grab a pair of extra big uh, hose clamps. I'm gonna do that right now. So after you secured the mount with the hose clamps, it's now time to put the battery cradle. So these uh, screws come with the mount. Use a two and a half millimeter hex. And after this cradle is in, we are done with the build. Time to take it outside. Just slide the battery in and boom. Okay guys, we are done with this build. It is looking super clean and it was very simple to build. Again, I used a front hub motor, a, a Magic Pi 5 with a thousand watt uh, rating on it. And I used a 52 volt, 17 and a half amp hour shark pack battery right here in the front. It's fairly fast, I just tried it. Um, I'm gonna put all the parts that I use in this build in the description below and all the tools that I use. So if you are doing any kind of front hub motor project, bike, try, whatever, uh, you're gonna be using very similar tools. So. Uh, it makes it very easy for the final everything in the description it'll be easy for you to replicate it so now i'm just going to change into my red shirt because momo's wearing a red shirt and then you have to be uh, matching when you're on a tandem trike and let's take this baby out for a ride all right guys we're out here now we're going to show you what this baby can do i got my red shirt on momo right here and uh first we're going to show you like uh, just a little torque test no no pedaling i got my uh, controller connected to the bluetooth and we're going to show you the top end speed on this thing. Let's go, Mama. Throttle only. So that was throttle only. You see it's picking up. So this is a question, common question that we get a lot. Uh, uh, and it can help me just by throttle only without any help. Uh, and as you can see, do it without hesitation. And that's two people on a tandem trike. Um, so if it's a single bike, it can it can do it without any problems. Rides nicely, man. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And what's the top speed? Uh, I got 52 kilometers. Wow. Yeah. So that's yeah. over, I believe, 32 miles per hour. Yeah. Which yeah. is which is insane on a uh, tandem trike. And it's not even fully charged. It's 52 volts right now showing wow. right now. So we can get more juice out of so it. You can go all the way to 58 volts, yeah. Wow, okay, nice. Um, so for the next test, let's do a panel only test. Okay. No throttle. Okay? Okay, go for it. All right, let's see it. So throttle only. So this is another question that we get a lot is how much resistance uh, is there going to be on the motor? Um, it is a direct drive, so there will be some resistance. Uh, but as you can see, both of them can pedal the heavy bike, um, no problem. That's without any power to the motor. No help from the motor the throttle. And the pedal is not hooked up yet. And they can pedal just fine. Moj, what other tests should we do? I think we should push the motor to the limit more. Um, I don't know, oh. what do you think? <laughs> we can actually tow a car on the back and it is, it is possible. Uh, that would be make a really good video. Uh, but for now, I think what you will do yeah, so let's... I think, I think uh, you're, you're, you, you'll substitute for the car right now. <laughs> so we'll, get on the back, man. We'll, we'll definitely the, do the car we'll, one. We'll show the people what it can do. Yeah, we'll definitely do the car one soon. Okay. All right. So three people on the trike. 
and supposedly I weigh as much as a car. Okay. <laughs> so we're, we're hauling actually um, 600 plus pounds right now. So we have a thousand watt motor rated at thousand watts, but we're probably pulling more than that. Uh, 52 volt battery, but our, our, our motors can easily do this. Can okay, you on? Uh, I, would suggest I should probably wear a helmet for this one, but I think we all should. Yeah, but that's okay. Um, do as we say, don't do as we do. Okay. <laughs> Get on, get on tight. Right. Okay, well, this is gonna be throttle only. Okay, Momo, go. All right, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the build video. Next up for this bike, I'm gonna put a reverse on this bike, show you how that's done, and I'm gonna put a cycle analyst on this bike and with a pedal assist. Maybe I'll make like two different videos on this. And I actually gotta put a sign on here saying wide turns only because <laughs> it's very appropriate for this bike. Uh, make sure uh, give us a like on this video, subscribe to our channel, uh, get, leave comments if you got questions for us, and see you guys later.